How does sugar affect your brain? Hi, I am Dr. I. Welcome to a healthy dose. Let's become healthier together. Sugar rush, sugar high, sugar buzz, sugar slump. We have all heard of these phrases that describe what our brain feels like when we have had too much of a sweet treat. But here's the thing about sugar and your brain. Your brain needs it because sugar is actually its main fuel. Our brains run on glucose. It fuels our cells, including our brain cells. We are evolutionary programmed to like sweets since they are a great source of energy. And when glucose levels are low in the blood, say if you have hypoglycemia, or sometimes it's just been a while since you have had something to eat, brain fog sets in. You fumble for words. You forget where you put down your phone. You look for a place to curl up for a quick nap. When there is too much sugar in the system, however, that can set off some really bad stuff in your body and your brain. So what happens in your brain when you eat sugar? When sugar hits our tongue, it activates certain taste buds that send a signal up to the brain, including the cerebral cortex. The signal activates the brain's reward system, dopamine. A feel-good brain chemical is released and the behavior is reinforced, which makes us want to repeat it. Our brain says, um, that's nice, give me more. Most of the time, when we eat something new and tasty, dopamine is released the first time we taste it. This is an evolutionary advantage to help us to pay attention to new and different tastes in case they make us sick. If we eat something new and don't get sick, typically the dopamine response then goes away the next time. So basically, we only release dopamine in response to eating new foods. However, every single time you consume sugar, dopamine is released. So sugar acts like a drug of abuse in our system, which is why people get hooked on sugary foods. So here is how your brain behaves on too much sugar. Our world is filled with sugary foods and not just the obvious donuts and super sweetened, super large latte drinks. A host of surprising foods from ketchup to salad dressings and marinara sauce have sugar added to them. When you repeatedly activate the reward system, your brain adapts and actually rewires itself and so you end up craving more and more. So why sugar makes your brain crave more sugar? You may not be aware that there is a strong connection between our gut and our brain. When that sugary thing you have eaten hits your gut, it activates sugar receptors there too, which signal the brain to release insulin to deal with the extra sugar you have eaten. Insulin is a hormone involved in blood sugar regulation. The insulin signals fat cells to store excessive amounts of glucose, fatty acids, and other calorie-rich substances. As a result, Few calories remain in the bloodstream, so the brain thinks it's low on fuel since it has very high energy needs. So your hunger level rises quickly, and sugar is appealing then because it provides quick energy. Thus, the cycle begins again. So, can you retrain your brain to crave less sugar? Your brain can readapt when you cut back on sugar, and you won't crave it as much. However, it can take a while, even months, for this to happen, depending on the severity of dependence on sugar that one has. Consider trying a 7-day detox plan at first. If you are successful at cutting back, there might be a big payoff. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.